Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. Today is Thursday, September 15th. I'm Caitlin Francis. We're going to begin with some breaking news here this morning. Rail unions and negotiators appear to have come to an agreement that will avert a possible strike of freight rail workers. The agreement includes better pay, improved working conditions, and better health care costs to those workers. Rail companies and union negotiators spent more than 20 hours debating over this. On to some developing news now out of East Hartford. A man is dead after being shot multiple times. Now, police tell us they received calls just about 8 o'clock last night from residents hearing those gunshots on Park Avenue. When officers arrived, they found a man in the road with gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Police are still looking for a suspect at this time, and we'll have more on this story uh, throughout the day. Check the Channel 3 app for details. We're on top of developing news in Wallingford. Police there are investigating a hit and run. Two people were hit on Highland Avenue about 6 o'clock last night. Those victims were taken to the hospital. At this time, we're not sure of their conditions, but police are still trying to locate the driver involved. And police are searching for a man who attacked and robbed a woman in Griswold. Take a good look at your screen. Police say the man that you see in the white shirt here assaulted a victim Sunday evening on Richard Avenue. The woman was out for a walk when the suspect attacked her and then stole all of her belongings. You're asked to call police in Griswold if you have any information or if you might recognize the man that you see here in the photo. Now on to an update. This morning, a man from West Haven is accused of calling a bomb threat into the Port Jefferson Ferry. Police arrested this man, 31-year-old Trevon Fid. Bridgeport police say he claimed a bomb was going to go off at the Port Jefferson Ferry yesterday afternoon. Fortunately, nothing was found and service was restored. But police say Fid works at the Bridgeport and Port Jefferson Steamboat Company as a food services employee. 702, we are entering day three of the Alex Jones defamation trial, and we're learning Jones is expected to appear, appear in court next week. It's not clear if he'll take the stand, though, at this time. A jury is deciding how much money Jones should pay to several Sandy Hook families for emotional damage. He claimed the Newtown shooting was a hoax. A lawyer who Jones hired to represent his company testified that his Infowars show and website spread lies about the Sandy Hook school shooting. If he reads it somewhere, he will just broadcast it. I don't think that we disagree with that there were false statements made in connection with the Sandy Hook litigation, or not litigation, I'm sorry, but in connection with Sandy Hook. Lawyers for the Sandy Hook families claim Jones made millions of dollars and grew his audience as a result. Good morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Melissa Cole with your Channel 3 Early Warning Forecast. we got a nice day on tap for today. Tomorrow... And a lot of the weekend looks really good, too. So plenty of sunshine, a little bit cooler out there today. Yesterday, we climbed to 80. Not going to make it up there today. Tonight, chilly. 40s for overnight lows. And then a beautiful Friday with plenty of sunshine yet again. So enjoy it. Normal low, 54. Normal high, 76. We're close to that this morning. We're going to be a little less than 76 this afternoon. And 90 is the record, 1915. That will stand. Nothing that warm in our seven day forecast. Uh, we have some 80s in the forecast, but mostly 70s. Scanning clear on live early warning pinpoint Doppler. No issues with any precipitation winds are out of the north anywhere from 10 to 15 mile an hour sustained with some higher gusts. So definitely breezy out there to start out the day. That's adding a little extra chill to the air and temperatures across the area are in the 50s to near 60s. So we're 53 in Litchfield. Wellington 58, East Hartford 59, West Haven 60. Dew points are in the 40s and low 50s, so the air is very dry and it feels like a little hint of fall outside. So many of us in our general area are in the lower 60s, but back off to our north and west, we've got the 40s and those 40s are heading into our direction for tonight into tomorrow morning. What a sunrise, though. That is fantastic. 61 degrees right now. As we take a live look in our capital city, see a little of the Connecticut River in the distance. It is choppy in Old Saybrook right now, thanks to those gusty winds. The sun is bright over the water. And in Middletown right now, bright sunshine over the Connecticut River. Weather watchers emailing in 50s and 60s for temperatures this morning. Colebrook 60, Salem 55, Basra at 60 right now. Future cast, I'll scroll through. Not a whole lot going on. Plenty of sunshine through the day today. 
clear skies this evening, clear overnight, just a few clouds dotting the sky tomorrow afternoon, but overall nice and quiet as high pressure is in control of our weather for the next few days. If you're heading to the Berlin Fair today, which kicks off this morning, heads uh, fantastic weather here. Sunshine as far as the eye can see, 60s at lunchtime today and right around 70 degrees at 2 this afternoon, 70 at 5 and then 8 o'clock tonight down to 61 degrees. So the temperatures will fall fairly quickly once the sun sets tonight under clear skies with lighter winds. We're going to lose any heating that we had throughout the day. So 60s in the hill towns today. Same thing with Putnam. Low 70s everywhere else. Warmer spots along the shoreline at 73. Uh, tonight, 40s for overnight lows. Clear and chilly, 45 Hartford, 43 Waterbury, 47 New Haven, 74 for your day tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. 77 on Saturday. There might be a spot shower Sunday afternoon or evening. Otherwise, a good day there too. Upper 70s, low 80s. And showers will become a little bit more likely Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, we dry out with a high of 81. Caitlin? All right, thanks, Melissa. Time is now 7.06. There's a plan to help Connecticut students breathe a little easier in the classroom. Governor Ned Lamont announced that $150 million will fund new air filtration systems for public schools. Those upgrades could replace heating and ventilation and completely install new air conditioning. According to some of the numbers, about 10% of the student population and 10% of the teacher population may have asthma and allergies and indoor air makes their respiratory problems worse. Applications from school districts are now being accepted. The deadline is December. This morning, there's a push in Hartford to make sure shoppers have access to healthier grocery options. A group wants to bring a store into the Arrowhead Gateway area that's right by downtown and Dunkin' Donuts Park. This week, the Hartford City Council passed a resolution urging the city to work with developers to attract a full-service grocery store to the area by July. Right now, many areas of the city don't have a grocery store close by. 707, the Big E kicks off tomorrow in West Springfield this year. Getting there will be easier than ever. That's a big deal. You can uh, hitch a free ride on CT Rail Hartford Line. The service is available Saturdays and Sundays beginning this weekend and runs through the first weekend in October. Shuttle buses will then bring riders from the train station in Springfield right to the Big E. It's a good plan. All right, thanks so much for tuning in here to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get your news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day.